The Denver Broncos, seven and a half is their win total currently. Um, need wide receiver, need cornerback, need linebacker. And they went wide receiver early. And I, I mean, it was, it fell right in their lap. <laughs> yeah. They, they went, uh, they, they got three wide receivers. They got a, they got a cornerback. They, they got some linebacker help, you know, like they, they did well in this draft. They had a lot of picks. But this is the first time in a long time that I have felt really good about the Denver Broncos draft. Um, now, the one thing the Broncos have done is they have gone all in on their quarterback being the guy. Uh, yeah, they are all over Drew Locke, man. All now, over this is Drew the Locke. place where I think they would be most beneficial to bring in Andy Dalton. Yeah, I could see that. I just think competition is a good thing. And it doesn't mean I don't love Locke, and I don't think that he can be the guy, but there's nothing wrong with bringing somebody in to push him. Uh, especially a veteran presence. like Because you, you we don't know that, that he's going to be that great yet, all right? Yeah, he was good at the end of last year. He was good, but he was good. Do we Small think sample great? size. I mean, we, we saw Baker Mayfield be That's really right. good. That's right. And then, uh, listen, listen to your boy. That ain't always true. What yeah. you saw in a part of the end of a season it's fun to be excited about sometimes that pulls your dreams down man yeah uh michael jumps in he said judy and hamler day one contributors kush yep. long-term starter next to risner uh let's see ajim uh sleeper learning from jarell casey and bo kohler albert o is a freak has rapport with Locke. uh muti is interesting if he ever gets healthy and then he said mile high track team lol so let, let's roll through these picks Jerry Judy from Alabama at, at pick 15 in round one, uh, that one just fell in their lap. I mean, that was, you know. It, yeah, this is CeeDee Lamb to the Cowboys. This is yeah. don't screw it up. Yeah. No one had him on. No Broncos had him on their board because no Bronco thought he would be there on no, their board. All the, our buddy Sam from Westlap Pirates was convinced yeah. that Henry Ruggs was going to be the guy that was left. Because he's the only guy left because CD and Judy would have been gone. Not an yep. option. Exactly. Then in round two, you get wide receiver KJ Hamler, who can absolutely fly. He yep. can fly, man. He's just he's unbelievable speed. Now, obviously, got some other issues that don't make him one of these top wide receivers, but he is really good. Like That's he's right. an unbelievable value pick in the second round, especially for what they needed. Number uh, number three. I mean, they had three picks in third round. Cornerback Michael Ojemudia out of Iowa. Yeah, good pick. Lloyd Cushenberry, center out of LSU. And then they got McKelvin Ajim, uh, which I don't even know that I'm saying that right, out of Arkansas. I will tell you this. Um, defensive guy, like, played at Arkansas. Obviously, Arkansas's defense was kind of trash. But I did see that guy kind of push around Alabama's offensive line, and Alabama's offensive line is pretty good, you know? Now, obviously, Alabama put up 48 points on him, so it is what it is. But he kind of did the same thing against LSU. So, I, now, granted... I don't know how much of it mattered because it was late in the game and it, the game was decided. But, you know, uh, round four, Albert Okud. I'm not even going to try. Out of Missouri, um, tight end. I was end. curious how well you were going to go in on these names. Oku would give them numb. That's not it at all. Uh, out of Missouri, uh, I think he could be all right. Uh, and he's he's somebody that obviously has uh, has rapport with Locke. I mean, he's, he's Locke's guy. Linebacker Justin Schnrod. Out of Wake Forest, uh, interior offensive lineman Natani Muti out of Fresno State, wide receiver Tyree Cleveland out of Florida, who is another burner. But I mean, what did he have? Like twenty something catches at Florida, yeah. like you know. Yeah, but he didn't have any quarterback play. No, he didn't. But my goodness, uh, uh, edge rusher in the seventh round, uh, they got super late out of North Dakota State, uh, Derek Tuzka. So uh, Michael, he knows this better than anybody. He said, overall, I think Elway crushed this draft. After getting beat down by Seattle in the Super Bowl, he built uh, one of the best defenses ever. I think he's trying to do the same on offense now. My only worry is maybe too much pressure on Locke. Would have liked for them to go after a tackle. I don't trust Bowles. Um, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I mean, I, I, I will say this. I like this draft. Yeah, I, This is the, the best I have felt about a Denver Broncos draft maybe ever under ever. John Elway. Completely agree. You know, completely and, agree with all that. Um, I, I, he's the, they would be fools to not go after Dalton. They really would. Yeah. He's not going to hurt your locker room. He's not going to 
come in and demand to start, but he's also not going to not compete either. And he fits into your offense insanely well. That's right. Like that's, that's he, right. I just, he does a lot I of the same stuff Locke does. If Drew Locke, if you've built this thing up and you're ready to go this year and make that next step and really compete for a wild card spot, and Drew Locke takes a big step backwards, don't be the Cleveland Browns. Don't throw away an entire season where the rest of your team is good. Don't waste another prime year of Von Miller's talent, all right? Yeah. Because that guy's not going to play forever. No, He's not going right. to be elite forever. So don't throw it away if Locke takes a massive step backwards, all right? Just if he's if he don't have it, sit him down. I mean, you're not throwing him or, in the trash heap. Or even sit if him he... down and put the other guy in that's not going to make mistakes. I'm not saying he's going to. I just don't – this is one of those situations where the franchise, without any real reason, has – because they've been bad at quarterback for so long, just like the Browns. Yeah. They feel like as soon as they get this much good play, give him the key to the franchise and let him make all the decisions from this point forward. He is our guy. He's going to bring us into the promised land because you haven't seen anything close to this good in a long time. Yes, I Listen, agree. Listen. I'm going to give you the best advice my uncle gave me long, long, long time ago. First girl I ever started dating, I fell in love with. He told me, Chris, she ain't the only one that's got one of them things, okay? They all got one of them things. Slow down. Slow right? down, man. You good. He's the first girl that's liked you in a long time, and he's good. He was fun. I like Drew Locke. Just don't get burned falling in love with somebody when you've only been around them for about five minutes. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Let's see. Let me. I'm trying to pull up the uh, the Chargers here. Um, as far as the Broncos go, their their quarterback depth chart. They've got Jeff Driscoll as their second string. They got Brett Rippon as their third, and then they've also got Riley Neal on the roster. Um, yeah, that's not going to help you. Andy Dalton would be better than uh, all of them. Uh, all of them, other than other than Locke, maybe. Um, well, yes, okay. I'm but obvious. but here's the deal. I mean, remember Locke missed half of last year with an injury. So what happens if it happens again? I just, you know? I just don't like the idea of we've seen a little bit of guy, just a taste of a guy, and now we just don't even worry about his backup. We don't even care that we have a backup. Jeff Driscoll is fine. Like, that's yeah. not okay. Uh, McKinnon said Dalton has the hair to blend in with the uniform, too. Um, uh, Michael said, if nothing else, fellas, it'll be interesting. Get your asses down to Denver. Uh, if we get a season, the Bucks are coming to Denver. Yeah, that'd be a good one to go uh, to go out there for. Uh what I was laughing at is is Matt, of course, jumping in on YouTube. He uh, it is the Mile High City. He said Denver is closer to the sun. Gingers can't tolerate direct sunlight much, so <laughs> they play most of the games at night. It'll be all right. <laughs> It'll be fine. Uh, Michael did say Elway drags his feet with quarterbacks. I love to see Dalton, but I can't see Elway making that move. Probably right. No, you're probably right. But, but, but it would be smart. It would be it's just smart. not smart. Yeah, I agree. I you don't 100%. have it. Listen, I'm just telling you from a Cleveland Browns perspective, you don't have a quarterback locker room where the only quarterback that's capable of playing is a guy who's been there for five minutes. Yeah. Hey, I mean, it, less than half a year or less than half a season. You just can't, you can't do that. It's just not smart. It might work out. Doesn't mean it was smart. Yeah. No, you're, you're a hundred percent right. You got to be prepared for everything. That's why the most excited I was about the Brown signings in free agency. It wasn't all them big old offensive linemen they went out and got, which is really nice. It was Case Keenum because I know now if we get the Baker, we got last year, Stavansky will give him the hook. You got that We're right. We're not going to throw away another season. You have got that right. The Los Angeles Chargers are 